Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you with the first version 11 dot uh, three dot one drive. Um, well, is it? Oh, is it auto stereo temporarily unavailable? Well, maybe not. <laughs> um, well, I was gonna show you this. Um, it's enabled. Maybe let's just go ahead and put it in park right here. And There we go. Okay. Wow. Well, um. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be a one-shot video, so you all can already see this is already a bug. It has not fixed the speed limit on this road. I want to be extra clear, everyone. I am not expecting any improvement at all on this version. Um, that, that's to set expectations. If we do get improvements, that's a huge deal, right? That's a big deal. And um, so that's what we're gonna say. I just wanted to show you all my settings here. That is probably going to get turned on, minimal lane changes, but uh, we'll see. Uh, the big thing is to see how it slows down. Of course, this morning I don't have time to do a highway run. Um, the highway is right here, I-26, but um, we will see what it's going to do uh, in my Saluda test. This is the standard just small town test here, and we're just going to see how it works. And so, I mean, so far the graphics are improved. Um, they've probably focused mostly on the NHTSA uh, improvements. It's still, you can tell there's still a little bit of he hesitancy, like phantom braking, if you will. It's not bad by any means, or at least so far, but it's still there. Like this slowed down good. Is it going to speed back up? Yeah, that's really good. Okay. It's done that in previous versions, mind you. But that's, that's like what we want to keep. We want to keep that it speeds up like that. So we're going to see on Friday I will have a um, highway test and going into town Friday morning uh, for an appointment. And then I'll have that out Friday night. But um, otherwise this is, this is just the only test I'm going to do this, this morning. Um, go ahead and watch everyone else's videos. They chuck Chuck Cook is going to have them out around Orlando, and then you have AI Driver, of course, in California, and all those, those great, all the great channels out there, uh, Mike up in Ken and all that stuff, but, um, yeah, we're just kind of see, I mean, so far, nothing, nothing special, now what I, what I have noticed, it seems to be extra picky on the hands on the steering wheel, so that's an uh, unfortunate downgrade, but it, kind of a necessary evil to make sure people are highly paying attention and you know keeping their uh, hands on the wheel if it, if it maybe it's more sensitive what I'm hoping is like as long as I have my hand on the wheel right but like maybe it's um maybe it's more sensitive let's see how it does on this turn here and what we're looking for is it doesn't try and stop so you can see the deacceleration little thing here yeah, see, it's so it's stopping for stop sign. See, look, it says it. There's no stop sign here. Hey, we still have our button. So let's go ahead and snap that. I'm like, there's no stop sign. Oh, yeah, wait, how do you, uh... Oh, did we not get the voice commands? Maybe, maybe we don't get the voice commands. Um... Go ahead and cancel that waypoint here. It is a school morning, so we have to make sure we keep our speed at the speed limit here. Oh, it changed right as it did it. It must change right before the speed limit now. So I don't know, actually no, we do have a good spot with um, the school zone right there. We'll see how quickly it slows down into the speed limit. Uh, so that's, that's a huge pet peeve, and maybe this version will actually fix it. I'm sure Mike will have a video he has a really bad zone where it goes from like 55, I don't know, the, the 35 or something. And there's always a cop sitting there waiting to give you a ticket. That is a perfect example of what needs to be fixed for the speed limit changes. So hopefully that, that's improved. I mean, so far so good. I mean, we're zero disengagements, right? 
Uh, definitely not zero interventions. I'm waiting for it to start using vision over the map data. It has really poor, really bad map data in this area. And we're waiting to see what it can do. They added a sign, no screw trucks here. So that's, well, I was gonna say it's slightly improved, but that's not improved. <laughs> but no worse. I'm gonna say it's no worse, um, but not really improved per se. I'm gonna see if I got this point here to where it's going to, um, going to properly turn. Slip and this car, he's got a stop sign. Yeah, see, look, that, and that's correct now. Yeah, that's an improvement. That's like fixed. Heck yeah. That's an improvement, everyone. Now, uh, I'm gonna see, make sure, hopefully there's not a car gonna be behind me. Um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna end this route and we're gonna go ahead and get it to come back across the highway here. Let's see if we can get it the route. Then it's all in real time, so that seems a little bit better. And it's doing the correct way. Hopefully, it stays that way. Now, the key is a lot of times it would come come back around this way. We want it to turn left here. And there's no point for it to go right and go back on the main road. That's not quicker. Left is quicker. So it, I think Tesla has seen this video. And maybe have corrected this. If you guys have, if you're watching this Tesla, thank you for um, looking at our feedback. That's, um, I think it's not for me personally, I think for everyone to look at our feedback is really critical. So that, that was great. Um, oh, we got a school bus. Got a school bus. How's it gonna, it's gonna work for the school bus also. Wow, it's, oh my God, I can't, I actually can't see. gonna grab my sunglasses um is it gonna let me re-enable so it freaked out because we have and the sun there it is the sun decided to peek out behind the clouds wow we got really close to that stop sign right there like really really close okay that's a disengagement and a um, downgrade. It no longer decided to watch. Um, it's a blind blind turn. Um, the bridge blocks the view of the car, so it, it can't see. So it's just gonna like fly out in the traffic right there. So that, that type of stuff, like it needs to be aware on like where it can't see, right? It can't see around that co corner. And so it needs to be aware of that. Unfortunately, like that probably could have been a zero disengagement drive if it hadn't done that. Um, of course, you have the, you know, disengagement because they freaked out because it had really, really bright sun. Um, not a lot we can do about that. Turn on the blinker. Well, it doesn't need a blinker. Let's see if it's going to go for this blinking yellow. It's still, it still showed a little red on the yellow. It, see, look, it's slowing down, slowing down here. You don't have to. Don't have to stop is a blinking yellow, not a blinking red. And so it's thought it saw red. And yeah, that's something that's gonna have to be improved there. Um Fortunately I wasn't going faster, I and mean, this is a school morning and it's cool stone, so I'm not going faster than the speed limit here. So again, not a bunch changed, but the the I'm happy that that um, left turn back um, early in the video was fixed. That was the first time in a long time that turn has uh, been has worked correctly. I think it's worked one time previously and it was very hesitant. This time it was far more confident on that turn. Actually, no, sorry, both turns it, it corrected because it always tried to navigate to the right on that second turn and it didn't this time. It seems to be slightly um, smoother acceleration. It doesn't accelerate as quickly. And I suspect the reason they did that, you noticed that the speed limits changed right before I said that, uh, that I went down to 25 back at the 45. That I think is the reason they haven't, they never fixed the slow down, the, the adjusters, um, a new speed limit. 
correctly. Because if it does that, um, it's going to drastic, it's going to jerk back and forth. And it did that in the early beta days before public beta. Um, it did that. And it was like nauseating, honestly, and really frustrating. And that's how they, you know, fixed it. Right? They fixed it by doing that. And, um, right? It's, the, it's not, not great. Um, and they still haven't, like, I, I, it's curious what they're going to do here. We'll find out. Well, once I'm here, I'm going to up it to um, 50 mile an hour. And I'm going to see what it does to slow down automatically. It seems it's slightly better on this curve. It's still slowing down more than I would, but it's, like, totally comfortable. Yeah, see, it just, it's hard to explain, but it does seem more confident around this curve here. So let's go ahead and up, I'm gonna up at the 50. So it takes a little bit longer, I think, to speed up. And let's see how it slows down. So it, yeah, see, it's breaking because that car right there, it thought that car was gonna come out in my lane. That problem is now it's already braked to, to the, Okay, let's see if I want to say, say this road dropped to a... Oh, <laughs> my point, sorry, okay. Um, ah, well. Okay, okay, let's see if I dropped it down to 30 manually. It's dropping quicker. So that's what I wanted to see, it's dropping quicker. So that's good. Um, that's what I tried to see um, by everyone. Okay, so. That's that's good. Um, sorry, this video wasn't too exciting, but there's are improvements clearly. Um, that's that's good to see. Uh, like I said, I don't expect any improvements on highway. If it's the same as Navigate and Autopilot, that is what I want to see. Um, if you guys have questions for me, um, please put them in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.